On today's menu is a healthy and delicious vegetable dal recipe that you can make at any time of the year. Hey everyone, Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. First we will cook the dal and I always choose my pressure cooker to cook lentils or beans because that's how it is commonly done in most Indian households. But if you choose to cook it in a pot, then please go for it. Today I chose moong dal, which is also known as small yellow lentils or split dehusked moong beans. You can even use red lentils or any other type of lentils. But moong beans have this beautiful flavor that I love. And if you are into Indian cooking, then I would highly request you to please try out all the lentils. Roast the lentils on medium low heat, stirring them continuously. You do not want them to turn too brown because then they won't get soft later on. They will soon look pale with a little golden brown tinge on some of them. When you see that, take it off heat and give just a little bit of rinsing. Guys, do not rinse too much as all the flavors will be washed away. Dal again jumps back into the pressure cooker along with few small potatoes, about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and two cups of hot water. You can even use regular potatoes or no potatoes. Sometimes people get so upset seeing potatoes in curries or anything. Please don't be so harsh on Mr. Potato and let me enjoy my life including him in my recipes. Okay guys, lid on and allow cooker to come to full pressure on high heat. Then lower the heat to low and pressure cook for 6 to 7 minutes. While my dal is getting cooked, I will start cooking my vegetables. Pan on medium high heat. Then goes a tablespoon of oil and a teaspoon of ghee. Ghee is totally optional my friends, but today I felt like using ghee. When it turns hot, lower heat to low and add a dried bay leaf, a dry red chili from which I have taken out all the seeds, and a teaspoon of cumin seeds that is jeera. Stir the spices for a second and then the vegetables enter the pan one by one. I use sweet potato, carrots and green beans. You can use any seasonal vegetables. If using fresh green peas then add them now. Since I will be using frozen ones I will add them at the end. I do not like using eggplants in this. Or if I use it, then I fry the eggplants separately and then add to the dal at the very end so that they do not fall apart. Stir the veggies on high heat for about 5 to 6 minutes and then add about a teaspoon of salt along with half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Then add just a splash of water, cover immediately and cook it on medium low heat till the veggies turn soft. In the meantime, let's check on the dal. Open the lid of the cooker after all the pressure has been released naturally. As you can see, the dal is fully cooked and ready to join the vegetable party. Back to the veggies. They are almost done. I added about a teaspoon of finely grated ginger. Fry the ginger along with the vegetables for about 2 minutes. Then I added some jalapenos. And now the dal joins the party along with a cup of rinsed out pressure cooker goodness water. Now guys, addition of water is all up to you. If you like it to be soupy, add more water. Or add less if you want it to be thick. I do not like it to be too watery like a swimming pool, nor do I like it to be jelly-like. Next more of colors, chopped spinach, frozen green peas and tomatoes. Now cover and simmer it on medium low heat for 3 minutes. While that's happening, heat a pan on medium low heat. Add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and dry roast it on low heat till they are fragrant. Please do not wait for them to turn dark in color as they will turn bitter. 
So as soon as you get those wisps of aroma, take them off heat and immediately transfer them onto a plate. Then grind them to a fine powder. Okay, three minutes done, lift off and doesn't it look like a carnival going on in that pan with all those beautiful colors. Give a final taste test and I felt the need to add more salt. Then add the aromatic roasted ground cumin and enjoy it with rice or roti. Please smash that like button for me and do send me your feedback after trying this recipe. Bye bye.